What's up guys, it's Phil, and it is time for another update. So I'm out here this evening uh, to try and get my trailer packed up. I've got the trailer here, got the truck hooked up. Um, and I am in the process of getting ready to start the built-ins tomorrow. Um, I was actually able to get most of the projects done uh, from the last update, uh, which turned out really, really nice. Uh, I've still got a little bit of finish work to do on those, so I tried to overlap these a little bit to where the couple of hours of finish work that I've got I can do in the evenings after spending the whole day working on the built-ins. So right now I've got the wonderful sound of summer cicadas and crickets and all kinds of life out here. Uh, but I'm basically just loading up my saws and getting everything ready to start building the cabinets tomorrow for one of the built-ins um, and then just kind of go in piece by piece after that. I usually do try to make sure that the client has space for me and a lot of times they volunteer um, you know, their garage or something like that, which is nice. So I always bring some fans and some extension cords, um, but because these designs are custom made for their space, a lot of times uh, I know I should, but I don't really go through and do a full design uh, ahead of time. The reason for that is I've done that before and I've built the cabinets like perfectly to fit and they never do. There's always something that's off, there's a wall that's not straight, there's a measurement I did wrong or something. So since I've got the time and since I'm doing it on site, um, I prefer to just have the general idea, know what I'm going to be doing and then when it comes down to like the eighth of an inch measurements, I do that kind of stuff on site uh, so that if there is a variance or something different, I can actually do it there without doing it here and then it's too small or too big or whatever. One more tip that I will definitely give you is uh, I have started using premium pine. Um, if you get it at like Lowe's or Home Depot, it's usually in a different section than like your standard lumber. It's usually called premium lumber. Um, it's over there with like the oak and all that kind of stuff. But it's, just, it's just straight grain yellow pine, but it's really nice. It's really clean. Um, there's no knots, but the thing is it comes like perfectly planed with razor sharp edges. Uh, so that's really nice to have as far as doing like face framing and stuff like that. It is a little more expensive, but I will tell you this. Going more expensive up front, you will almost always wind up saving so much more time. If you try to cut your own one by twos or if you purchase one by twos that are garbage and they're twisting and, and cracking and all that kind of stuff and you've got knots in the faces, it just doesn't look as good. And when you're doing a solid white, beautiful built-in, you don't want knots and you don't want wood that's not sitting perfectly flush. So to avoid doing a heck of a lot of sanding and just wasting a ton of time, I just pay the little bit extra, go ahead and get premium pine and then once you install it, fill the holes, you're done. It's super easy. So I'm losing my light. I'm gonna finish packing up here and we're gonna get started on this built-in first thing in the morning. day one um, I was able to get a lot of the cabinets started um, ran out of plywood so that's kind of annoying but I am gonna try to run up and get some more plywood and get some more supplies 
um, so that when I come back here tomorrow, I can just, you know, get after it. Turned out pretty good. Um, what's kind of funny is I'm in the middle of packing up and about two minutes ago, there was another client that I talked to like three weeks ago and they've been kind of dragging their feet about getting a deposit to me and he called me and was like, hey, I'm on my way home, I've got to check for you. <laughs> so at this point I've literally got people finding me at my job sites to give me deposits, um, which is honestly, I'm not bragging, that's something that I've never had happen before. Um, so that's really cool. So I'm gonna keep packing up and go ahead, get to the store, get home, call it a day. All right, day two of the built-ins. It is seven o'clock a.m. It is cloudy and humid out here, so we might get some rain. Um, I did just realize I still have a little bit more work to do on one of my other projects than I thought, and it's supposed to be due tomorrow. Um, so that may not happen, but that's okay because I talked to the client yesterday and they said they might not even be available tomorrow. They might have to do it early next week. So I'm okay with that because I've got these built-ins to do. Um, they're keeping me out of the shop, which is unfortunate because that means I'm not getting this kind of small stuff done that I need to, but it is what it is. So I'm going to load up. There's Yoshi. Just waiting on me. He doesn't like these early mornings. But I'm going to load up and get going, get some breakfast on the road, and get started today. transition to location number two. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm rocking and rolling through these things, so I'm hoping that this is going to continue. There's a lot of cars going by this main road right here, but that's all right. So this next built-in is pretty cool. This one is actually one that um, is going to have a secret door behind one of the barn doors. So um, it's pretty awesome. I had to modify the plan a little bit, but we're going to get this thing going. So I'm super stoked to get this thing going. I got my painter showing up at the other one tomorrow to get that thing painted. And hopefully we'll get both of these done this week. So we'll see how that goes.
So I'm just gonna jump in here and update you guys on my schedule a little bit. I am on built-in number three. Um, this one is part of a much larger built-in that I'm gonna be doing later this month um, or early next month, but I promised that I would squeeze in this little project right up front. So I've set aside a couple of days to go ahead and do this, um, get it done, get it installed, and then move on to the fort that uh, I need to go build and then get on to the next built-in and entertainment center from there. I just finished up the sliding barn door entertainment center and the big entertainment center is getting painted today. So all that is rolling pretty well. The only downside to all of this is I started all of these projects and the weather has been great and then out of the blue this week, we jumped into the high 90s, really, really high humidity. It's raining every night, um, which normally cools everything down, but it's not like raining and pouring. It's just like drizzling with really bad thunderstorms. So we're not getting the coolness that we normally do and I'm stuck outside in my client's garages and front driveways in 90 degree heat. You can probably hear Yoshi right now. He's, he's laying on the concrete, drinking water, having a good time. Um, but it is hot. And so I'm not looking forward to getting started on this fort next week because that is going to be a hell of a time. Literally, uh, because it's gonna be so hot. See what I did there? So I'm gonna get started on this. This should be a pretty quick and easy project. And then I'm going to jump right into the next project, which I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be the fort, uh, but if it's just too hot, I might actually work on one of the entertainment centers that I've got going um, and kind of go from there. super awesome it is massive um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it so I've got a little bit of touch up to do paint wise but other than that it is done so it's definitely one of the biggest cracking fingers it's definitely one of the biggest um, not lengthwise but as far as like everything that went into it it's one of the biggest ones I've done and also uh, it is the most intricate one that I've done. It's also the fastest one I've done. Ironically, I got it completely uh, fabricated, put in place, and it was ready for paint within like a week. And then, actually just within a couple of days. Um, and then paint took forever on this project. So unfortunately, uh, it didn't go by as quickly as I wanted it to, but um, it looks awesome. I'm super proud of it. The clients love it. So time to move on to the next one. All right, <clears throat> it is 8 o'clock a.m. It is hot. Yoshi's hot. We're just chilling. We are here on the side of the road in uh, nowhere, um, a.k.a. I was on my way to the client's house and my truck decided it wanted to start acting up. 
Um, I have no power to the battery and I think my alternator may be going out. Uh, last week I had the battery kind of do something, I'm not sure, but the battery went bad and it melted the contacts uh, where you hook up the battery to the car, so that was interesting, I've never seen that before. So I replaced that, replaced the, the battery and the wires and all that jazz, um, replaced the starter solenoid. Was hoping everything was going to be fine and um, it turns out that it is not. I know she's breathing really loud, so I'm going to open up the windows and get him outside so that we can be a little bit cooler and try and get somebody to come give me a jump so I can get to the repair shop. Alright, so I'm here at the client's house. Um, I've got some of my stuff set up. i got my saws and everything set up. I do have to run to the local big box store because the lumber yard uh, did not have pressure treated uh, 2x6s. So um, I'm going to go grab a couple of those um, and I'm going to grab two more of these footers because I don't know why in my design I have six and I bought four. So that wasn't smart. So I'm going to go ahead and get those and get everything prepared. Um, it is week three, I think, or week two and a half of these projects. Um, I am getting the others finished up. The big built-in is finally done. The unfinished built-in with the sliding barn door to the secret room is done. Absolutely awesome. Um, I am waiting on my painter. She's not been as reliable as uh, usual as of late. So she is going to finish up the paint job on the little bench that I did. And then next month I'll be going back to do a very large built-in for those clients. So I'm super stoked on that. But my Monday started off awesome. All that got taken care of. Everything is fixed now. My coolant leak is done. But it took two days to fix the trucks. That's annoying because I'm now two days behind. Today is Wednesday and I was supposed to be finishing this project as opposed to just now starting it. Um, plus my phone didn't charge last night, so thank God for babies that wake up at 7.30 in the morning because there's no such thing as oversleeping when you're a parent. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Um, being perfectly transparent, uh, I'm very tired. Uh, this whole process kind of depressed me a little bit because I did try to do some work at the shop but everything was in my trailer and my truck trying to get ready for these big built-ins I was not prepared to be doing work at home so I got a couple of things done I got uh, a pen mailed off I went and did two consultations I got two deposits so that was really nice uh, so I'll be doing another built-in yet again uh, for Franklin Road down in downtown Franklin definitely make sure to check them out uh, but <clears throat> I am excited. I really enjoy working with them. Um, the girls there are awesome. The owner, Ken, is great. Uh, everybody loves Yoshi. He gets to come in the store and hang out with me. So that's super fun. So I'm going to stop yapping and uh, get to work. Well, you guys wanted some behind the scenes, and here is some behind the scenes uh, of the crap that happened. So, I had to fire my painter yesterday because she has been late to a bunch of jobs, and she apparently did not do a very good job. And so now I'm going to go back into my client's house and work on the paint uh, for a paint job that she did terribly. There's a ton of brush marks and stuff that shouldn't be there. It's not her normal work. Clearly she did not think this was a job she wanted to be doing. And that's unfortunate for me because I'm now leaving my other job early to come fix her mistakes and it's going to be a couple days to get this thing completed. So I'm going to get inside and get this thing uh, cleaned up, get it painted, hopefully make the client happy with this one. Let's see how it goes.
Wow. Okay. Um, so, a lot has happened. Uh, I'm not in a good mood. Uh, so when I started doing these built-ins, um, things were really rocking and rolling. Um, I was getting money two to three times a week from clients. Uh, I was getting multiple deposits for new projects, uh, and my list was just getting longer and longer and longer. A bunch of different things have happened uh, since last week. First, I let myself get in my own head, which I do from time to time, and that's really uh, stupid. But if you've ever seen, if you've ever read like self-help books and stuff like that, uh, some of this stuff is legitimate uh, as far as I create my own mental blocks. When I get a lot of work, I slow down. I don't know why, I just do. And that's really bad. I also stop advertising, which then, as I make that list shorter, I then freak out because I don't have more coming in because I haven't been advertising. So that can be a big problem. Um, also, when there's not money coming in, it doesn't feel as good my mood drops, um, which is ridiculous because the money coming in, most of it's not even for me anyway. It's deposits for future projects, uh, and so I don't want to misappropriate that money and use it to pay my bills or anything like that. I, I, I literally take it and put it in a box or in an account uh, so that I know exactly where it is, exactly how much I have, and between a literal cash box, my business account, and my PayPal account, I know exactly how much money I have across the board. Uh, how much of that is for the business and how much of that is deposit money that is still for the business But I, I don't want to use that yet That's one of the ways that I keep myself at a net zero or in a profit margin even in bad times. This is not really a bad time um, I'm just in my own head, so I Think I'm past that um, it has been a rough two weeks because of some more issues I also had a table that I delivered one of the smaller tables that I did in the last update uh, and I delivered it and the next day the client messaged me because the colors were all wrong. Uh, now the weird thing and the downside to that is that from what she ordered, the colors were right. She wanted a, a white distressed finish and a light gray top. We sent photos back and forth, we compared colors and everything was perfectly fine. I get to her home and it turns out she actually wanted it to be so dark gray that it's almost ebony and she wanted a pure white, like whiter than white. like like brighter than your trim white uh, and she literally compared it to some shutters she has in her house that will blind you if you look at them in the wrong light so obviously that makes my white look very cream which is not um, but I understand there's there's multiple variations of white uh, so that sucks I have to redo that table not because the order was wrong but just I'm so keen on making people happy and this was a pretty expensive table set um, so what I chose to do was actually purchase uh, another table base. Someone had an antique oak base that was broken and I brought it home and fixed it, painted it the same cream white, and then I ordered a whole new set of chairs uh, and I made a oak tabletop. So now she's going to get an upgraded oak tabletop finished in the color she wants with matching chairs uh, with a nice white trestle style base and then I'm going to use her top and old chairs with this antique base that I painted white to make a new table. So that is going to be something I can sell and I'm going to make sure that she is happy with hers and it only cost me another set of chairs and the garage sale price on this uh, beat up old table base. Last but not least, as you've just seen, my painter really screwed me this go around. Um, she did not do a good job on the very large built-in uh, that I just did, and she did not do a good job at all on the little breakfast nook bench. Um, one of the biggest problems I had is that she was actually complaining in front of the customer, and that's really unprofessional and a really bad reflection on me, especially because I hired her uh, because she is a subcontractor who can come in very professionally without me having to be there. I tell her where to be, when to be there. She shows up, she does it, does an amazing job. This time she did not show up for multiple uh, appointments. She did not communicate with the customer at all. And when she was there, she was being extremely unprofessional. And it's horribly, horribly disappointing because now the time and money that I was saving, I've completely lost because I have to pay uh, for those services that they did do even though they were bad. Uh, and then I still had to go back and repaint the piece 
Uh, also, there was some damage in the plywood. Uh, there was a really bad void underneath the surface of the veneer. And so I had to break that out, fill it in, repaint it. The customer was not happy with the repair, which is fine, but that means that I had to go back and, and repair that. And when you have four to six hour drying times between coats of paint and fillers and whatnot, it wound up taking me over a week to complete that repair to their satisfaction. The really bad side to that is that the customers who wanted the really, really big built-in also wanted like five more projects and they are not returning my uh, phone calls or messages on trying to get them on the calendar. So I think they're not happy. Uh, I, I know they love the built-in, they've, they've told me that. But I think they weren't happy with the way that she treated them, and they do not seem to want to move forward, at least at this time. So she may have cost me some pretty big money there. So while my truck has been in the shop, I've not been able to do a lot of work. Um, I made a bunch of new t-shirts, uh, so I've got t-shirts that I can wear when I'm out uh, uh, working, and also when I go to consultations, so I don't look like a total scrub. Um, and that's kind of nice. Plus these are super lightweight cotton, so it's really nice because uh, I can sweat easy, but they dry easy. It's really nice, especially for cheap uh, t-shirts. These will be available for sale. Uh, if you're interested, I'm gonna put some links in the uh, description below on how you can get some. I also worked on some t-shirts for my skateboard brand and uh, I'm working on those table repairs and things like that and getting everything completed so that I can get back to work.
fun. Um, I got almost completely done with my built-ins and my projects for uh, this week, which actually were supposed to be finished by last week. So with it being Wednesday evening, I'm actually three days behind my normal schedule or my planned schedule, which really sucks. Uh, but I just made a delivery. It was a uh, entertainment center that turned out really, really nice. Um, they didn't have the knobs, but the customer was providing the knobs. So in the in the video, uh, I think I just only has like one knob on it, but whatever. It still looks pretty cool. So uh, this is the toy box that I've been working on, and just to keep with the theme of the way that my past couple of weeks have been going, um, I tried to deliver it. Threw it on my shoulder, carried it up two flights of stairs, and when I got to the bedroom it was supposed to go in, it was too big by 1 16th of an inch, only on the front corner. Because the builders, when they built this house, decided to put the floor trim under the window in, so the window's here, the trim is square and flat back here, square and flat on this side, and on this side it has a slight curve, and the entire wall is not straight. And I run into that kind of crap a lot with these new homes and the really just quick construction they're doing and then selling these homes for almost a million dollars. But with that, my piece that had perfectly square edges and stuff all the way around does not fit in a wanky wall that cuts in a quarter of an inch the wrong direction. So um, I now have to make my piece fit, which sucks for me because I was supposed to be done. This was supposed to be done this morning. So with that being said guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this video. Um, I've got a lot of projects already recorded and I've got a bunch of new projects that I'm starting but because my schedule has sucked so bad uh, the past couple weeks, everything started so well with these built-ins and then between my painter and a bunch of other things just happening, um, it has thrown me off so bad. So I don't have time to uh, record and, and, and think about the videos uh, which is going to make my content really boring and I don't want that. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here and make this part one, and then going forward from here, I'm gonna do part two. Definitely check out some of my other videos. Make sure that you subscribe and like these videos. Um, if you really like them, go ahead and share them on social media. Help me grow this channel a little bit. That would be super, super awesome. One of the best things you can do is turn on that notifications button, ding that little bell, and make sure that you're getting my newest updates because you get a lot of updates like these, part two of this video, and also some of the DIYs and stuff that I've got uh, coming up. So you definitely wanna see those. Turn on those notifications. Make sure you're a subscriber. We'll see you guys in part two.